All right, it's Friday night. It means it's time for some football. That's right. High school teams in our area. They're now in the playoffs and it's a really exciting night for so many are Todd Wilson and 106.3's Theo Dorsey is at Jensen Beach High School. They're at Jensen Beach High School tonight ahead of the big game against Port St. Lucie. They're joining us live with a preview. Todd. Yeah. That's right. Game started at six o'clock and you can see behind me here. It's still going. It's well, it's going on and Jensen Beach is actually on offense at the moment and Theo, of course, ESPN 106.3. Tell me this, um, what do you think? Jensen Beach is eight and two. Yeah. Uh, five and four for Port, Sa Port St. Lucie. Is it a wash or is this going to be a tough game? This is still going to be a tough game. There's two reasons why. Number one, Jensen Beach is a team that's already played Port St. Lucie, so Port St. Lucie has a bit yep. of familiarity. Yep. Though Jensen Beach is the higher seed in that home, mm -hmm. these teams know each other pretty well. Yeah. And also, again, this is winner go home. This is the playoff, so you can throw any of those regular season games out of the, out of the window. I mean, of course, yep. Jensen Beach a favorite in this one, and they're marching down the field about to score maybe a touchdown. But again, it's high school football. It's a Friday night. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jensen Beach is known to have a good defense. Yeah. Is that Are they going to rely on that heavily tonight? I mean, we already saw it. Um, Port St. Lucie's first drive. They had the ball first, three and out. Uh, Jensen Beach has a really, really potent pass rush. They get out to the passer really yes, well, do. as well as they stifle the run. And that's what you need in high school football. They've already got the ball back for their offense. Looks like that's going to be some complimentary yeah. football if they're able to convert on this one. And, again, they had three shutouts this year, including – in the regular season on October 3rd against Port St. Lucie, so really good defense. Okay, so we're thinking ahead. We're going to think ahead yeah. here. Uh, whoever wins tonight, who do they have next? Next up will be the winner of Sebring and Merritt, and the good thing for any Falcons fans out there, I know today was a wonky day. It's Veterans Day. Maybe you had other plans. You're out of town. Well, the Falcons, a two-seed, would host next round as well if they get a win tonight. Port St. Lucie would have to go on the road because they're a lower seed. But, again, the winner of Merritt and Sebring, Sebring the higher seed there, yeah. bit of a favorite, a really good squad. Yeah. But, again, look, any given Friday. Okay, you've got a great story you, that you're putting together tonight. Yes. Talk to me about that story. It's a young man that was injured, right? Yes, Austin Connolly. He was injured so severely at practice just a, a, a little over a week and a half ago that doctors thought he wouldn't be able to move his extremities. He was paralyzed at the moment. Um, He's walking, able to talk with me now, and he shared his journey about how he got back, how he leaned on faith, family, and just believing that no matter what the diagnosis was, he would be able to overcome it. And again, they didn't think he'd be moving. They thought he would have to take anti-seizure medication um, wow. every day of his life. None of that true. We'll be able to share his journey tonight on WPTV News Channel 5. Nice. Okay, like we said, playoff team, playoff game right tonight. Jensen, Port St. Lucie, winner moves on. Live in Jensen Beach, Todd Wilson, WPTV News Channel 5. That would be incredible, absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you very much.